Okay, um, I'm going to head out and just get some fresh air. Um, the normal daily events, which have been occurring for technically 46 years, where nobody will help me, um, including the police, will really allow you to get out everything that's going on because they either are overworked or are linked to some of the earlier events and don't want anything coming out that I get video of every day, minute by minute. Example, color, car color, color car color patterns exactly as, uh, as I come out of my garage. Uh, two whites here together. Uh, or three, actually four today. Usually they're twos or threes. Um, so it's four. So remember that, that I have literally, I don't even know, thousands, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of videos just like this all day night, 24 hour, you know, all day and night, whenever I go out. And at this point, the camera never turns off. So, um, and nobody will admit it's going on. It's worldwide, or at least United States. But it's worldwide because all the programmers I used to hire in the mid 2000s were making it impossible for me to work with them with the the uh, verbal abuse or the whether it's cryptic, textual, or verbal, or mimic tactics, example, like every program you're hired is told to say the same exact sentence structure, like, I don't explain it, like, um, they'll either do something cryptic in their sentence structure or uh, maybe they'll say, like, how you doing? And, like, each one you hire will go, how you doing? Like, hey, how you doing? And then, and remember when I was hiring programmers, uh, it was all around the world. It was in uh, India, it was in um, China, Japan, okay, so Okay, this is gonna be very difficult. Uh, my camera, this, I don't have the proper mount, and the camera's shutting off, and I'm sort of pointing out some of the things as I leave my house, and I'm gonna sort of, I don't, that they do every day worldwide. Um, and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to do more of these videos, but it's a completely exhausting. Um, and some of the tactics, are two whites, the same uh, card model, like example, two Civics together or more. Uh, sometimes here they do one on each side, like you might see an Audi here and an Audi there. This is worldwide, so remember wherever I go, if it's not being done, they see me and um, they start doing it, right? And then you can say, well, Kevin, you have signs on your car, so, but this is way before there were signs on my car. It took me a good 10 years before putting up the website. But I'll try to stick to the more solid things. Um, but a big one as of a guy sitting in a white Tesla right here, mad at me for taking walks, was you touched my car and then groups of whites uh, worldwide. So um, I was explaining before the camera shut off that it is worldwide. I used to hire programmers um, on Odesk it was called. Um, India, Japan, Philippines, Russia, all around the world. And okay, so two whites here. Uh, notice the space, the front and before and after. Pairs of twos, and they do this. I could, I could literally, and I have hundreds of videos driving wherever. Uh, Reseda, Van Nuys, same thing, and shitloads just here, 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 here. You can see it on the video how obvious it is. So we have the three whites here as I'm coming out, and there's a lot of other things. Usually we have a gold, this is a Camry here. Uh, what's in front of a Camry? Yeah, okay. So we have a Camry here, and we have a Camry there, pairs of two Camrys. This gold Camry usually has a gold cam a second gold Camry with him. Um, I got literally something like 15 years, and the last six or seven years are narrated, or something like that, you know, it's hard to, maybe it's more like five years. And, you know, it's just too much exhaustion. Just, A, leaving your house, and B, you know, you have to download the video, you have to categorize the video, you have to, um, so this goldish Camry, there's a second one that parks with him. Uh, technically, you kind of have four whites, but it's usually 
twos or threes or larger groups. Um, and not just here, worldwide. And so I could go, like I said, up Reseda or whatever, and, or just Tampa. Just point them out. Okay, next, 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 next. Um, now, nobody will admit this is going on, okay? So, um, you're going to say, why? Now, that's not, that's just one of these thousands of tactics. A lot of them are verbal harassments. Okay, so like, uh, example, I was explaining, I don't know if the camera turned off, that, um, Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, that, um... I totally lost my train of thought. Okay, what, oh, so, so let's say I hire a programmer and they're told to do cryptic things, like everyone says, hey, how you doing? Okay, and you just keep hiring program, and there's also cryptic things in the sentences they'll do. Maybe they'll do like three pluses or something like that. And you, you know, what the fuck is three pluses, right? Or something like that. And then you go, I can't work with this guy. He, he's working on these weird idea of reference messages. So, listen, it's not working out. And then maybe you hire, that was the one in India, so you hire the guy from uh, the Philippines, and it's the same thing. Hey, how you doing? Okay, right? And you go, what, what's going on? When, at first, you can't believe what you're seeing, right? Okay, uh, what's the point I'm making there is that it's worldwide, okay? So me, what does that mean? It means that every person I will talk to or almost everyone will verbally harass me with a certain set of cryptic terror tactics. And these terror tactics I've watched grow in a week or less than a week's time um, worldwide. So the guy in the white Tesla, you touched my car and I said, what the hell are you talking about? I didn't touch your car, but and this is all probably on video, but there's so much. What are you really mad about? Well, why do you take so many walks? Okay, wait, so there's a guy waiting in a Tesla for me to take walks saying you take too many walks in worldwide groups saying you're not allowed to take walks, um, and um, you're gonna say what? Like, I, I, don't, I don't get it, <laughs> right? Um, so uh, why would I not be allowed to take walks? I made a wrong turn here. We gotta kind of loop around the block. I was going actually supposed to go that way. Okay, so you're gonna say why would I not allowed to be take? Why would I not be allowed? to take walks. Um, this might, this camera might turn on, this might be a little messy. Um, and then I'll switch to the next thing. And then the next world wide groups of the newer tactic. Or, oh, example, like going to a coffee shop 15, 20 years ago. This is every coffee shop in the world. Your kind's not allowed to drink coffee and several police officers were actually involved. I believe with the psychology community is sort of making, like dictating my life, right? Well, we want you to be healthy and have a normal life. Before coffee shops was going to the gym, well, you know, we don't want you to go to the gym because you go four days a week to the gym and that's too many times and you have OCD, so you, we need to get you healthy and uh, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, and that was sort of where Mike Huntley in 19, in 2000, earlier, 1998 or something, Wanted me to join at the gym by my house with Rody Morales, who was told to take me to strip clubs, number four. Went in each day, all sorts of frame job and setup operations. Okay, but let's let's stick to now because everything is linked to something that's gonna go down to five years old, the same types of thing, pretty much daily since five years old. Okay, my mother says something on the phone like, you have a problem too. And she's speaking in literals, and I don't I don't know exactly what the hell that means, but at the same time, I'm noticing, or it's hard to understand the exact time frame. I'm gonna, um, and I've tried to get, uh, like, a, like, what did you mean? And, um, uh, you're watching people do things in pairs of twos, and people will mimic, like, okay, okay, hey, hey, right? And things like that, and you'll just keep going, what, what's going on? This is worldwide, there's no answer, right? So, it's designed to drive you crazy and sort of 
get you to look like a babbling idiot, and they want you to go to the police, and the police are kind of like, hey, listen, you know, what's wrong? You know, you know, give me something simple. Give me something like, um, okay, this was the three whites I was pointing out there. And there's groups of whites as I come out my gate over there so they can sort of provoke you as you come out, right? With passive aggressive idea of reference uh, tactics. And then, like yesterday in a lot of the parking lots, were pairs of twos backwards. That's a common thing. All the backwards since 2011 uh, because I parked my car backwards once um, at Ventura and Havenhurst Starbucks and they didn't want there's no real reason. I, the, the world is being told 100,000 lies about everything. Um, and it doesn't matter if I, I walk into a restaurant right now, um, like 2013, where um, every restaurant I walked into, just mental bludgeonings. Some guy just wants to get some damn food. And there's a planet of people mentally bludgeoning him to death and you, you're going to the cops and the cops won't help um, and they're lying and as you're trying to file police reports remember I have a, on my website um, police refusing to help and I've watched several people come in while I'm taking police reports um, no uh, don't you know don't uh, write reports for this person and the relax system the online system is a joke because you can only do very simple, you can explain it yourself, but anytime it gets, oh, you know, it's racially oriented or, it's racially oriented or whatever, um, you, go, you gotta go into the police station or someone you know, you gotta go into the police station and then you sort of get bounced back and forth like a pickle, right? This way, that way, this way. And then you, you deal with the police officers and they don't really wanna take good reports and it never goes to detectives. And the problem in my life is that if I have to record uh, literally thousands of things per hour and point them out, and even the more aggressive things, um, it's exhausting. How do you write a police report? You can try to do it a broad overview, but they're gonna be like, well, there's no category for that, right? There's no category for gang stalking, right? There's no category for, um, okay, here's one. So I'm talking about the pairs of twos and the pairs of twos backwards. I have tons of these in another lot. It's in every lot, but in, um, uh, yesterday, just tons of them, um, just sort of going out trying to do my daily errands. And, um, okay. And just like the older videos with Brittany Henderson, almost every parking lot we're in, I, I gave her a list. I said, point out the mental illness tactics, right? And she could. I, I could grab any person right now and say, um, hop in my car or you drive and point out the things on this list that statistically cannot happen and they will. And that's why they make it impossible. But So that's why you're going to now question, so why won't any, anyone come forward and say something? Well, that's the question, okay? They're trying to make me look like a violent, paranoid schizo. They're trying to make me look crazy. Um, nobody... I guess everyone's duped by the, the psychology community. I mean, it's hard for me to explain. Um, I'm gonna go in here and deal with, buy some... I'll be right back. Okay, so if I had to edit these videos, like, basically I start and stop the recording, change batteries, whatever. Okay, I have to edit this, okay? This video here, it's gonna take me a good, just a super quick, put the segments together and, and render it out and all that. It's gonna take me an hour, and then the upload times, it could take two, possibly three hours, even more, just for this one video here. You have to understand that. Um, and I got thousands, uh, 
just like it. And um, I'm all by myself and nobody will say this is wrong. So also amount, uh, imagine the amount of, due to the fact that everything that's being done is on a sort of Lisa Marie, yes, the little things in life, small scale, that you, you would have to show up to the police department and, and literally all day, every day, trying to write reports and you can't write a report for example, I'm watching the cars. Here, I'll show you. Okay, so they see me, they see my car, and then they start parking backwards, okay? So I have a video just from a couple days ago um, going to a coffee shop, and the entire lot, except for three cars, were backwards, or normal, and then three cars backwards, and after I come out or whatever, you're watching them switch and change, the majority of the lot turns backwards, or I'm sitting in my car, or either way, and they see me. Well, Kevin, you have signs. Well, I might have signs in my car, but how do they know the tactics, okay? How does the world know the tactics to do when they see me um, worldwide, and then say, I don't know you, and nothing's going on, okay? So, now you have to go down to the police station all day, every day, and you have to file police reports, and the police are gonna make you file for one, in, like a specific incident. They're not gonna say, you can't file a police report for the whole ball of wax. Um, does that make sense? Like, everything that's on video here, the only police report you can file is that mass groups citywide or worldwide are stalking you with idea of reference schizophrenia messages. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around here. And these guys just pulled up and when they parked, pairs of twos and pairs of twos over here. And see, on, both, on each side. And then, then, you're gonna say, police gotta know what's going on before I even walk into that police station, correct? There's no way they don't. They don't wanna admit it. Why? Well, uh, around, I mean, I can't speak specifically. I, I do trace it down to around the age of five, but I believe it gets really bad when I start sort of pulling my eyebrows and you can sort of see why um, someone would. And I guess even worse than that, I kiss a black girl at eight years old and my family flips out. And so, or, you know, my family flips out with the psychology community because they're mad that I'm showing, um, I'm showing that I'm just like everyone else and, and warm and kind and have the proper human emotion and that makes my family angry, correct? Because, and the, and the psychology community because they don't want what? They don't want me having the same life as everyone else. I am not classified as a person. Um, okay, so what does that do to your health? It whittles you down. I mean, imagine you're all alone. You have to write 100,000 police reports. The police know what's going on, but they won't admit it, correct? Now, I have other, you know, like on my website, on KevinPerlmanTarget.com, there's Channel 5 News, some other gang stalking targets, and the police are there going, yes, gang stalking is real, and you know these cars drive by and honk their horns by the house all day, every day, to try to get rid of the guy, and um, for everyone else, they'll admit it, but Kevin Perlman, they won't. Why is that? Okay, and um, so I have 100 million videos just like what I'm doing now, and everyone just looks the other way. And what they're trying to do is provoke you, provoke you, provoke you, provoke you, provoke you, provoke you. Uh, what are the, what are the tactics? Some of the tactics, there's thousands, but what are some of the tactics? Um, and I'm gonna have to keep checking my battery. This isn't the ideal setup here. Um, by the way, can I go out and get a job if I have to deal with this? No, I can't. So that is destruction of someone's life, destruction of someone's health, whittling someone's health down. I believe that Dinsey sort of states in some of his older things, I can't remember about forcing people to mental institutions. Um, and, um, 
you know, what am I supposed to say here? Because if I find out at 29, around the age of 29, sitting in my office uh, with Mike Huntley telling me I'm a dead man, world paranoia, and drawing papers on my desk, how to make people mentally ill and kill them, and a, a barrage of other things, and I'm in shock, right? Okay, I'm a college-educated person that grew up in the Hidden Hills or Calabasas area. I'm not some uh, homeless scraggler that, um, you know, I literally didn't expect to watch the police try to make it look like I'm a drug dealer and things like this to go, I, I'm totally confused. Okay, so, and everyone wants to avoid the, the real issues. They want to try to put me in a bad light and set me up and frame me and push me to my end and go, look what he did. Look what he did now, look what he did. and. That's why my father was running around blasting lies to the world, I supposedly tried to kill her scammer by putting bullet holes in his car when he himself, I found the bullet, I was in the, my father's garage going, Dad, why are there holes in the back of your car? And he just didn't really say much of anything. And then, you know, you get older and you find out people are really angry if you say the word gun or your brother's, you find out, you realize your brother's doing things with his friends to try to... Mike Wexler, no, Jason Baum, my brother introduced me, says we should scare that guy with a, with my gun or something like that. And this was a guy they put in my house to try to piss me off and he moves into my room and uh, squats on the house and sort of takes over the property and wasn't paying rent. So they're trying to rile me up and get me to go after people. Over and over and over, minute by minute by minute. Why? And now that I've passed the test a hundred million times, why won't they stop? Okay, Kevin Perlman has done nothing, but Kevin Perlman is being hunted by a planet minute by minute, but nobody will admit it. So, what's the point I'm go going, where's the point I'm going? I go to the police station a hundred million times. I don't know you. Uh, let's see. Hey, how you doing? I don't know you. Because that's like example of the programming website. Hey, how you doing? Or Instagram, the 100,000 messages. Hey, how you doing? Or if I take a walk, I'll get a, a message on Instagram. Hey, how you doing? Okay, right, and I'll just keep going from place to place to place. Now, by the way, I could, I could drive to Tijuana right now, go into the first bar I see. Hey, how you doing? Or better yet, maybe someone jumps on the Instagram, messages me saying something the Brian Longbotham spy game hinting about the restaurant that I'm in, like maybe if there's a, I don't know, a little circling airplane or something, they'll say, I like airplanes. Okay, right, something like that. The Brian Longbotham spy game where he's, he hires me for a Universal Studios pilot, then, um, then, um, Universal Studios pilot, then um, the pilot's called, one of them was called Spy Game, and then Kevin conforms the media. The same tactic my father did, or Mike Huntley come over to my house, let's watch a movie, he wants to watch Fight Club, and then every time I take a walk and sit down, people provoke me, okay? Trying to make it look like I think I'm Tyler Durden or something like that. But why is a planetary against one person? An entire planet against one person? Why? It was the judicial system running around. He's just trying to make money with Kevin Perlman, Target.com. Well, how can I make money? The only thing Kevin Perlman, Target.com can do is stop crime. So why do the police not want it? Why do the police not want a website that stops crime? Unless they're involved in something highly illegal to say we can exercise the law in our own way. Now, I do have death threats from Officer Toro at uh, Topanga Starbucks, Topanga uh, Encino Starbucks, Havenhurst, and Bitcher Boulevard. And I'm getting proof. It's a, it's a dual thing. I mean, Aubrey Fisher came into the scene because she, she was mad with Rodney Morales. She was, she was trying to plant police confiscated marijuana, trust bag of marijuana in my house before it was legal, and she was working on the, well, Kevin got into studio photography, he's not allowed to ever take pictures, and that links all the way back to 97, Mike Huntley, and you can see how this links to that, links to this, to that, to that, that, now you're gonna walk in a police station and say what? Okay, well, you're gonna try to isolate an incident, but now you have 5,000 incidences in one week, 
or, or let's say four months or something, and you gotta somehow define that, the only way to do it is sit down with a detective for like a week straight, but they won't do anything. Okay, nothing. Nothing at all. They won't even verbally acknowledge this, the situation exists. And if the situation exists and they know it exists, then they're an accessory to attempted murder or conspiracy to commit murder. Well, you know, Kevin, you're videoing and taking pictures of people and, well, yeah, because I turned 29, world of paranoia, there's a planetary execution. We're gonna force you into a mental institution. Why, because you're mad at me for starting a company and making money? A legal, L-E-G-A-L, legal company for me. There's, there's no reason. There's no reason. Uh, Dinsey's running around, how do you make your money, this and that. They know I come from a rich family. Duh, everyone knows that. Okay, so however you want to word it they have a lot of money I was raised with a white collar family let's be realistic okay and but the family does the same thing and they're angry and it's like sort of a two-faced half-ass you're a really good person but when you are 29 you so you're gonna ignore the death threat part you're gonna ignore the you're a dead man part you're gonna ignore now they, they weren't exactly in my life but it's worldwide like when I go to Vancouver to visit my mother or stepfather it's um oh, I'll go to a coffee shop or I'll go to a bar or I'll go take a walk same things identical the verbal harassments the things with the cars the color harassments like um it wasn't having them it'll be having now like four red cars together, two white cars together, six green cars together, seven, okay? You can hop in your car right now, you can drive down the street and grab a camera and you can go, hey, two whites, two whites, four whites, three whites, two whites. I don't care if you're in the US, I know you can right now, do it. Especially in California, especially in Southern California, especially in Woodland Hills. Okay, so I've done it. I got like, I don't know how many videos, I'll just, okay, let's, actually count the stupid patterns of statistical analysis. You know, like, like, do I really have to do this? Do I wanna do this? I don't wanna do it, but it's happening. And there's trigger mechanisms right after events, like you touched my car, and then the conversation, why do you take so many walks? And that's, it's really about you take so many walks. But in retrospect, I don't take that many. I don't take a lot of walks. It's just someone doesn't want me taking walks. Now, Dinsey threatened my life in 2017, basically telling me that I'm not allowed to leave my house. It wasn't direct. Um, um, but he didn't want me leaving my cage, okay? And that's sort of what's going on. So the house is supposed to be a mental institution and we have a, a lot of death threats on video, like no relaxing for you. Actually, that was not on video, no relaxing for you, nigger. But the one is that you better accept what's going on or it's gonna get a lot worse for you. Um, that is on video and that was the dog attacker guy uh, where LAPD wouldn't acknowledge even with photos and doctor's reports that a police trained canine bit me and tore up my leg, okay? So they didn't want to admit it. Why? The cops weren't there. It was just some, some neighborhood guy. Why don't, why don't the cops want to admit that? Okay, so now I have to take, if I were to take police reports, it'd be like, at least the bigger things, probably one per week. And remember they've been defacing my cars minute by minute, uh, not minute, but on and off daily for over 20 years. And I believe the first big one was with Greg Koenig. And probably, and I believe Terrence Scroggins and Greg Koenig where uh, they carved up my Corvette and slashed the top, oh not Corvette, uh, Jaguar. And that was linked to me trying to go buy a coffee at Starbucks and um, Starbucks and um, oh Ventura and Topanga. Sorry, I didn't get good sleep last night. Um, and um, I technically, I never really have in the last twenty years because every day you're like. 
Okay, let's start the day and boom, 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 boom. The mental batterings, right? Okay, so so I'm gonna drive down here, down Schoenborn Street. Uh, this is the Schoenborn Police Station. I've done this for years, but I never get a chance to edit them and upload them. I'm gonna do up, try to upload this one uh, in between craziness and this. Remember, that this weakens your mental state and mindset, and you can only do this for so long because the average person doesn't want to do it at all, and I really don't want to do it at all. Um, but what's the point I'm proving here uh, is that this is happening in front of Schoenborn Police Station. Um, if I come here in the early morning, you'll just see reds scattered because everyone else is sort of going to work. Okay, so let's go a little slower. Okay, and it used to be more car oriented, now it's color oriented. So, three whites. I've been seeing a lot of three whites today. Um, everywhere I'm going. And so this is the Schoenborn Police Station here. And let's see how bad it is. I mean, I, I could do this every day and you'd be like, this is... So we're going to have some spread reds here. And uh, normally you'd see like two pathfinders here, but that's how it used to be. Now it's a little more color oriented. Um, and the numbers are actually down today, surprisingly. Um, okay, so two whites and just some spread reds. Now you say, Kevin, there's red cars. There are red cars. I, I totally agree with you. Um, and then over here, I don't know if you can see these. I th no, there isn't. Okay, so spread red, and they're less, okay, so two whites. Uh, example, the CRV in the old days would be two CRVs. Okay. Um, uh, Okay, black pickup here, black pickup there, maybe, maybe not. I try to be realistic. Uh, there used to be two two or three explorers always parking together here. Two white pickups here. Um, red car, red car. Two Civics right there. There's a third Civic here. I remember, red car. I have thousands of videos like this and a lot more aggressive. Red car. And, um, okay, so you're going to say, well, that's a coincidence. And I'm going to say, well, it's a combination of coincidence, intentional coincidence and coincidence. So now it's a spaghetti mess of insanity, right? Okay, some of the, some of the corrupt psychologists or psychiatrists would say, Oh, you don't believe you don't believe in coincidences. And what they're trying to do is put words in your mouth and look for ways to silence you, okay? To bully you quiet. Okay, why? Why not be an honest person? Well, I have an agenda, I want to force you in a mental institution. Okay, why? Why do you care? Well, you know, I think you suffer from mental illness. Why do you care? It's not your life. I'm out with my company and and hanging out with my friends that were my enemies, my frenemies, whatever you want to call it. Why do you care that I'm with my friends, with my business, doing my thing? I haven't committed any crimes. I'm an exceptional person. Why do you care? Okay? Example, my mother's labeling. Well, I want you to have a normal life, so I'm trying to make you mentally ill and force you into a mental institution with this two-faced, I love you and I want you to have the best life and you're a really good person, and, but he's a, he's a psychotic and he needs to be put in a mental institution. I don't know. You know, I don't know what's on the backside there, but we can't get to a... Uh, they always want to isolate everything into a little, a little uh, modular thing and not the bigger entire picture, right? Okay, so why? Okay, why? Now you're gonna say, Kevin, just go to the police station and tell them. Tell them what? Okay, like tell them um, that there's 100,000 uh, two white cars here. Oh, I gotta go up to Soto. I'm an idiot. Um, two white cars here. I don't know why I went uh, totally. Um, the other thing I want to mention about that we have two spread civics there while everything else is kind of cleared. 
um, possible groupings of reds. Okay, so the one thing I want to... Okay, this, this never ever stops. I'm supposed to ignore it. I'm supposed to ignore it and it'll go away. And the more I ignore it, the angrier they get and the more aggressive the attacks. The healthier I am if I go take a walk, if I get good sleep, go take a walk, go to a coffee shop for 30 minutes, sip on a coffee, uh, read a newspaper, then go off to work or whatever, they get angry. That makes them angry. He can't be healthy. Why? Because you have a problem too? That doesn't make sense. I have to make you mentally ill because you suffer from mental illness? It doesn't make sense. Only a psychotic murderer would do that. Okay. Well, you have a problem. You don't have hair up here. So you're the devil child. You're the bad seed. You're not allowed to associate with the other human species. You go into a police station. Look, today, 500 people. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't have time for this. Okay, now don't you think if you walked into a police station with or without proof and said, look, listen, I need to sit down with a detective that they would say, you know, can you show me some kind of proof of this? And yeah, I can. And he looks at it and he goes, example, the, the horn, two, horn honking groups, they used to be two and three. Uh, like someone get out of their car and push their alarm horn twice. That still goes on, but it used to be literally I'd have thousands per day. Um, for no reason, there's no real reason, just you're not allowed to get into studio photography with Aubrey Fisher, LAPD, Officer Toro, and um, obviously my family, right? Because we own you, you're our slave. And how dare you buy a Corvette and put a Whipple supercharger on it? What kind of sick person would do that? You're you're a racist, you're this, you're that. Okay, whatever. Okay. That all starts after kissing a black girl. That's why some of those death threats are no relaxing for you, nigger. And it's interesting that the some of these things are all linked to the relax system out of the, the website, the LAPD online relax system. But they're also racial towards Kevin's kind. What is Kevin's kind? Um, well, I guess the label would be called trickle till mania, but is it something that anyone really cares about? No, they don't care. Uh, but they're making it the end of the world. Like, um, cause now will, will, will they let me grow them back? No, they, they don't want me relaxing enough to grow back the eyebrow. You get it? And at this point in my life, they just don't grow back from the stress. But it's interesting. that I'm away from the stress, they start to grow back. But they don't want that. That's... Okay, why? Okay. So... Um... That's weird, right? You want me healthy, but, but you don't want me healthy. You only want me healthy in a mental institution if I walk around trying to live my life that upsets the people. Now, you can say maybe they want me in a mental institution to cover up the crime spree, but I mean, it looks to me like a one-way ticket there because why do it in the first place? It makes no sense. Okay, so, um, so, it's an extermination operation. That's why it's a flag and kill operation starting at five years old. Okay, and that's actually technically before. Okay, so, um, okay, so why won't anyone come forward? That's sort of the big question. Instead of saying, Kevin, you're doing this and you're doing that. And I can assure you there is nothing, even today, that I've done to these people. Um... They just have a planetary execution and no one's coming forward, especially in the psychology community, okay? So Brittany Anderson, by the way, I should mention, seemed to, okay, she says that I suffer from, towards the end, she said I suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome. Uh, oh, two cars backwards, two red cars, wait. See, I can't, I can't, let's see what you have in the groupings. And you're gonna say I see this everywhere, but um, there's four, whatever, that one's hard to read, but there's sort of all sorts of spread by her. Okay, but the, the ones with the two reds back there. Okay, so, 
I might have to look on the GPS. Um, but the other question here is that I forget my stupid cell phone. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, let me just... Okay, so I'm gonna see if I have my cell phone because I might need to use the GPS here. Okay, it fell between the seat there. I was like, I swear at it. Okay, um, so the point I'm making is that these are government eradication opera operations, and I've proven them wrong about mental illness a hundred million times over, but they just. And remember, these are strangers. The people, that, my accusers are strangers. So imagine you go on a date with a girl, or you go out on a date with a guy, and you're this, 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 that, and that, and you can't be trusting your monster, and blah, blah, blah. We, I haven't met you yet. You haven't met, we haven't dated yet. Okay, we skipped the entire dating process, and you went to the hate labels. Okay, you walk into a psychologist's office, you skip the psychology sessions, and they go straight to the package labels, okay? Um, so what is that? Well, you know what you did. That's my father. You know what you did. Well, I mean, everything's uh, you did, and you don't have a right to exist. And But there's no actual crime. There's just some kind of righteous, bigoted, I have the right to kill you. Okay, kind of like Terrence Scroggins stated on the stand in 2017, uh, um, He's allowed to go after whoever he wants, and um, if you read the transcripts, if you download the transcripts, he's allowed to go after whoever he wants, and um, oh, his anger management classes, and he's on like hundreds and hundreds of videos, like before and after, going ballistic on me, all downloadable, uh, but nobody cares, okay, nobody cares, because they just care that Kevin's breathing, and Kevin's not allowed to have a counter argument. Um, and that is it. Um, about his life, okay, to anyone, okay? And it look, like I turned 29. I noticed this crazy partner that was originally my brother's friend. My brother threatens my life. He and his friends are going to put me in a mental institution. And everyone skips the big picture here, which is that I'm sitting here with a video camera and uh, videoing uh, literally thousands of people per hour with psychological warfare tactics. And I've been doing this at least 15 years in the last maybe five years are narrated because well, what am I looking at? I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm seeing. What are you showing me, Kevin? Okay, but they do know. Um, and um, I think I gotta shut this off and put in the address I'm going here. Okay, now the, the judicial system wants to uh, make it look like these videos are because I suffer from mental illness, which is kind of a catch-22. Uh, two whites here. Um, two whites here. Two white pickups there. Two whites here. Two whites here. Um, this is especially aggressive around my house. It's extremely... Two reds. I want to. I want to show you these two reds here. How there's space on the front and back. Okay, two reds there. Um, the psychology. Or I was saying around my house, two whites here. Uh, I don't even know what street I'm on. Uh, we're in uh, Chatsworth area. Um, Chatsworth High School. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lurlin and Vintage. Okay, I'm trying to type in GPS coordinates here. Um, now you're, you're seeing how much energy this is taking here to just video this. Then you gotta edit it. Okay, two red groupings there. Um, however, one is sort of waiting, probably to pick up someone. Now remember, there are coincidences and they're, they're temporary, or there's coincidences and there's the intentional coincidences. Uh, three whites here, and you say, who wants, Kevin, you're driving around counting, counting um, cars. And it's like, yeah, because 
And it doesn't start with cars. Now that might have to do with Jen Hess, uh, me mouthing off to her about karma and it being the end of the world. And each thing is like the end of the world. Like, um, like, oh my God, you, you have some, you chewed with your mouth open, we have a plan of people to kill you. You yawn in a day, we have a plan of people to kill you. Everything's like that, okay, with, with these mental illness tactics. The mental illness tactics that never stop to whittle you down and just end your existence, okay? Just one way or the other. Um, whether it be uh, to force you into a mental institution, try to get you to react, go stop, enough. And remember, they're also verbal. Okay, verbal. Every day, every person interacts. If you have a conversation with a person, they'll be like, yes, yes, right, right, yes, yes. Uh, example, years ago, I went into a Starbucks and they start with a welcome. Now, every instead of hi, how are you, hi, or whatever, they go welcome. And then every place you go into now, it's welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. And you're watching it exponentially grow just like the cars in whites or the other tactics, right? And it's designed around you on government kill systems using the internet to torture and kill and security companies are all involved and everything else. Um, okay, where am I going? I think that's where I'm going. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're designed to drive you crazy and, and kill you, okay? And so Kevin Perlman here, he has a counter argument, especially to this next generation. Uh, where are you taking me here? Okay. So Kevin Perlman has, you have all have been lied to. I don't know. I don't know you. I don't know you. Who are you? Yeah, you don't know me, whatever. Uh, I don't know. Oh, what's your name? <laughs> okay, whistle, whistle, whistle. Next person. What's your name? Like at a, a quarter mile. Turn right onto the Soto. At a business counter. What's your name? Whistle, whistle, whistle. Okay. So, um, like all over and over and over, they're all told to do the same exact identical things. And then you don't know me, but you're in, in the beginning. That was LAPD too. Okay, you're coming in. You're like, I don't understand what's going on. Here's a hard drive of video footage or here's video footage I don't want to look at your video footage but you're the police you gotta look at the video footage we don't have to help you even today or yesterday watching LAPD go uh, someone come in and go don't file reports for this person not me but someone else and for me they're sort of selective and, and when they file the reports they mod modularize them and they never group them together showing that there's a, a pattern of behavior like the the VoIP server that's been calling me progressively getting worse for four. Okay, like the VoIP, like the VoIP server. In a quarter mile. Um, okay, a phone number calling me for four years, starting with Brittany Henderson and progressively getting worse. It's a, some kind of automated VoIP server that forwards to my phone number and. I report at least like yeah whatever, and then Turn putting right dog right shit on my car, on, on and off, for something like three years. Okay, well you know, but that's that's not vandalism. That's just okay, but it's obsessive harassment. Uh, this is not right. Uh, obsessive harassment did. That will stop me from getting a job and going to work and living my life, right? Okay, so like we were, we don't want to file that report. Okay, now with with hundreds of thousands of these police reports, we're not gonna do anything. We're never going to do one thing. We're just gonna sort of file them and throw them away. Okay, I mean that needs to be addressed, right? Okay, well that sucks. They're fucking they they closed 20 minutes ago, so whatever. Um, Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here, just, it's Friday. Uh, normally I go to car meets. I might stop by, I don't know, I'm not in the mood really. Um, and, um, probably just go out to Hollywood and let people see the signage on my car. Now, for years, LAPD has been playing mind games that <coughs> I just want attention and 
um, is to make money and I do joke around a lot because I do have a comical fun loving personality but the problem is that they don't want me to be a person so everything everything like I explained I kiss a black girl I show warmth and kindness and my family gets angry hey world he's a racist or whatever um I would love to do a million of these videos if if I had honest people if I had honest people that would say yes this is going on we all know it's going on I would be interviewing people left and right um that was my Okay, I'd be, I'd be interviewing people left and right if they didn't sit there and try to make me look like a crazy conspiracy theorist or whatever, because we all know what's going on. But I can't find anyone that's gonna admit it. <coughs> and, oh, this would get, these, these two whites over here would be perfect to show you because there's no other cars. Um, so, okay, we're going down Mason here. And it's interesting that this is where am I? This is right where the street races were in 1988. Uh, Mason and Roscoe. What are we at? Nor oh no, I mean Nordoff and Mason. Um, yeah, Nordoff, right? Yeah, this is where the street races ended, and the street back there ended from railroad tracks. Whatever. Uh, totally irrelevant here. To there were things happening. There were people launching vehicles at me even back then in 1988. Um, trying to cause accidents off the side of the road. Um, I can think of two, actually. I can think two around those years of 1618. Uh, one on the Ventura Boulevard by the Honda dealership and one right there. Okay, so... And it's funny because when I start working, when I start working for my father in around maybe 2005, I'm not sure, at Golden State Sports Medical, uh, two days in a row, LAPD, sp their speeding ticket, they're like slight speeding tickets, but speeding tickets, I don't even know if I was really speeding, to tell you the truth, but um, here on Mason, right around probably Mason and Roscoe, okay, uh, trying to go to work, and that, that was like in the years from the year 99 or 2000 to 2005 or 2008, I was very, I don't understand what I'm seeing, right? But, um, so it's not fully processing. Okay, so, you know, it was right around here. Well, this is Parthenia, but, okay. So if we sort of want to video document the cars, which is beyond a level exhausting, well, just ignore it. That's what I'm told, just ignore it. Um, and that's like, like, imagine I have someone give you 100,000 dead arms a day, and I say just ignore it. And, and let's say they're really soft dead arms, like they're, they're super soft dead arms. Um, um, okay, and just ignore it. And if you ignore it, it's a catch-22. If you ignore it, you're doomed. And when, when the reason they tell you just ignore it is because they want you to just explode in anger and rage. You go, this guy's fucking crazy and nuts. Okay, that's why. And if you don't ignore it, they go, this guy's crazy and a public nuisance. And like me, I pass out cards and they get angry. And, and they get angry and angrier that I have a counter-argument to lies. Well, you know, people don't want to know about your life. I don't want to tell them. I don't want to have to pass out fucking guards, but I can't sit there with a plan of people throwing rocks at my head or trying to mentally bludgeon my skull in minute by minute going, just ignore it. So you have to find a passive method, you know, passively try to figure out how to stop them, right? Or, and how do you stop a worldwide murder operation to kill you with continual, you know, it might not be hard, it might be really soft but 100,000 a day. Uh, kind of like the water, the water drip torture, okay? And it's based on, let's, let me, let's talk about some of the tactics here. Okay, it's, I do, I do have an older tactic list on my website. I can recall 20 years ago, starting with whistling, um, like person 
10 to 40 a day wherever I was in the world people walk by with and if I went to a coffee shop it was really bad the coffee barista would sit there for an hour straight <laughs> You know, trying to get that reaction at everyone, not one, everyone, and every corporation or every coffee shop, no matter how big or small. Same with every restaurant, by the way. So Dinsey was involved in 2013 with Jensen, with Jensen, and all I all I want to do is eat some food. Okay, that's it. Just want to eat some food. Okay, and uh, without being provoked, and lately hints about my brother's thing about being in Tahoe. And uh, let's let's just focus on one of the tactics, which would be the white groupings um, here, and maybe the red groupings. Um, so two whites there. Um, remember, some are, some aren't, and some streets are extremely aggressive and blatantly obvious, and some are iffy. Um, two whites here, okay. Uh, two whites here. Um, two whites here and what they want to do is say hey you know this is mental illness and who, who looks at the whites well I saw it just like the cars backwards I saw it sort of emerge like at first everything's normal and I can I can drive down the street and go that looks totally normal right like like right here like there's no they're all random right they're random maybe once in a while you'll see a couple of whites but they're all random okay I can I can go down areas that are easier to prove, um, like parks, okay, if you, like a park, if I go around a park, if I go around Warner Center Park, okay, blatantly, and some of those videos with Brittany Henderson are so obnoxiously sick and disgusting to CRVs, to Jeep Cherokees, to, I mean, there was a point where she was like, oh my, uh, like, okay, process that, right? Process that. How did that How did that happen today in this hour? Okay, it's not, you can be struck by lightning a thousand times per month and that would be more realistic. Okay, I mean, it's not, okay, right? So, but nobody will come forward. Nobody, nobody will come forward. If, if I, if there's a, if, if a, I was sitting, if a, if I was sitting in front of a jury and they and any of them said I don't know who Kevin Berman is, that would be a lie right there. Okay, that'd be a blatant lie. Okay, um, and that's how bad it is. Okay, so um, what have they been told? I can't imagine. Okay, so I'm gonna head out to Hollywood and I'm just you know I could video forever is the problem and. Hollywood it used to be really bad. I'd go down there. I didn't really understand. I didn't understand how they did it back then. Okay, so the one thing I learned is that if I'm logged into the Google Cloud, the ramp up of attacks are extremely fast. Uh, five to 15 minutes. So if I go into a restaurant, boom, here come the people showing up. All oh, the clothing colors. 10 black pants with green shirts, 10 black pants with with uh, pink shirts, or maybe just pink shirts, or, okay, so what, what was happening is everyone's sort of watching, this is where Kevin is, and remember we have some of those death threats by LAPD back then, um, we're watching you, Pearlman, and you're like, I'm trying to go out and, you know, learn my camera or whatever, and why did I just get a death threat? Okay, right? And um, that has always been the case since five years old. Uh, they, they clearly put me on some kind of illegal mental illness watch list. And everywhere I went growing up, if you see Kevin Roman work with us to remove him from society, there's no if then. But see more Amster states. You're brilliant. You're on a mental, mental illness watch list. I was sort of like, is he pulling my leg? But I know there's something like that going on. Um, okay, so um, what I can tell you 100% is that I'm known worldwide and any person that sees me is how can I figure out how to make this guy look crazy or try to cover, or if he's not crazy then he's doing it to make money or, or get attention or, and the story will keep changing to avoid the blatantly obvious truth that we don't want you to exist and we don't want your side of the story 
coming to light to the world. Okay, that's the problem. And I have not met one person that seriously said that this is just fucking wrong. They go, I think you have problems, I'm gonna lock you away, or this, that. Well, the problem goes away once you say that this is wrong, and stop. Okay, leave the guy fucking alone. Okay, so, um, so I think I'm gonna turn this on a little later, but I can assure you that because everything is on the internet and instant, oh, the Google Cloud. So, everything, everything you do, everything you do, on the Google Cloud, or they can track where I go, and so that's how people know so fast to show up and work on me with a mental illness. Whether it's the closing colors, whether they walk in and go, hey, 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 yes, 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 and walk by me, whether they talk to their friends and go, um, maybe they'll go, yo, and then I'll go to the next place and someone will show up and go, yo, and then I'll go to the next place and someone will show up and go, yo. Maybe they'll say yo to me. Maybe they'll show, say yo in front of me in line to the person at the counter. Maybe they'll say yo, um, wait, did I say to me or to their friend in front of me or to someone in the counter. And then you'll, you know, watch these yo's, so to speak, increase um, exponentially. And then I'll go to the next tactic, like the welcome tactics, which is a newer... Uh, Starbucks tactic actually and then goes everywhere worldwide um, and it doesn't matter if it's at a coffee shop a restaurant a gas station um, trying to take a walk except I mentioned the how you do and everyone for years used to walk by me and go how you doing over and over and over and over and over okay and you're like why do they keep saying how you doing and then people message me on Instagram when I take a walk how you doing okay and Facebook MySpace you name it and then the people that befriend you really want you dead. I don't know. Keep provoking. Try to make him look crazy with everyone I know. Um, example, the auto shop. Every auto shop is buddy, 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 buddy. Uh, whistle, buddy, 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 buddy. Why do they keep calling me buddy? I don't know. Uh, there were some hints that I was a drug dealer and things. I don't know. And that would link to Rodney Morales and what he was told to do, right? Try to plant trash bag of marijuana in my house in 2000 to, to frame me. Okay, and remember that Jason Perlman has license plates, frames, I swerve and hit people at random, which they're saying is my car. Weird things, don't make any sense. So I'm gonna take a little verbal break here. Remember that I don't really have the time here to really exert. Um, oh, and then if I, if I talk to people on the phone, that's sort of, Somehow people get the phone calls. If I text people, somehow people get the text. Um, that all gets a lot better when I log out of the Google Cloud, okay? So, now they might then hint it's your fault because you're you're Googling or you'd be like, huh? Like, huh? <laughs> right? Like, did I, did I, I'm crazy? Okay, so, but that's why it's called gang stalk. Gang, uh, gang stalking or gaslighting is because um, they, it's a way of trying to make someone look crazy to say they're crazy. Okay, so if you have anything to say about it, guess what? You're crazy. Oh, well, I mean, what do you do? Okay, so it, it is a way to ratchet down and exterminate or eradicate. Okay, now you say, Kevin, why haven't you been talking all these years? You've been focused for three and a half years on your Corvette, which all the car butchers have all butchered up and it's still not running and provoking you while you're trying to get get everything resolved and get them to do the job and then it's turned around, you're harassing people and you think you're the boss and then 100,000 people worldwide will call you boss every time they see you and it switch, switches from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing and but uh, as far as the Google Cloud, when I log out of the Google Cloud, now remember the Google Cloud Kevin, you don't, you don't have any factual data. Well, I don't have factual data, but I know I'm an IT guy. I've done computers all my life. Transact SQL, database programming, .NET programming, AJAX, JavaScript, um, 3D animation, visual effects, Maya, Houdini, 3ds Max, Blender. Um, uh, what else? Soft Image when it was big. Uh, what was my alias? Well, alias before it turned into Maya. Alias Wavefront. 
Wavefront, before it was Alias Wavefront. Okay, in the 90s, okay. Um, so if someone's saying Kevin is just a, a conspiracy theorist, um, and a lot more, a lot more. Um, I did IT for 14 years, I think. Um, Linux systems, uh, Debian, Ubuntu, Red Hat, Linux. Uh, obviously, wind blows, Windows, uh, desktop support, um, basic level programming with VB and uh, C. I suck at C. Okay, uh, college Pascal programming, um, Fortran programming. Okay, so I have a background in computers. I'm not going to boast that I'm the best out there or anything. But I have enough background to know how things work. And I can tell you this, that Google has an option. Google Cloud has an option to turn on GPS tracking so that it records everywhere you go. And once you get into the Trojan and exploit world, um, okay, the Trojan and exploit world, um, think about it. Someone could inject something to turn that on into your Google Cloud account every time you restore your data to a new phone, it's going to restore in the cloud the exploits and it's say, hey, you know, now track that guy's phone because it's turned on for lost phones or whatever. And aside from that, NSA and police capabilities is a whole different ball game using these to exploit those technologies. So what's happening is I log into Google Cloud I can't tell you specifically what's going on, but I can tell you if I watch who shows up and how fast, boom, it is instant. It is instant. I could, I was pulling down the side of the road and people were coming out of their houses and like, that's the guy. And you're like, did I wake up in a twilight zone? Okay, and then I figured it out, I log out and, okay, but then what happens obviously is, well, oh shit, he's off his leash. We're watching you, Perlman, so on the police death threats. Uh, he's off his leash, and um, we got to figure out a new way to torture with privacy violations. By the way, uh, my privacy has been violated since '94, since my family and brother, my brother, wanted me to see the internet so bad. Um, okay, so um, why support it? I mean. You gotta be beyond sick to support something like that. <laughs> Sorry. Beyond demented. And then it's somehow about OCD and schizophrenia and crazy and... Okay, well let me prove you wrong. I'll prove you wrong that I'm not crazy. No, nope, uh-uh. No, nope, we don't care. We will not stop. The more I show them, I'm not crazy the angrier they get and the larger these hate and extermination groups grow. And that's the point, is it's not about anything but extermination and hate and rage for a five-year-old. Um, so that's sort of the Google Cloud and then all of you have been lied to about me. Oh, you know, so why haven't you been doing these videos? Just, just too exhausted, okay? Every day there's things and there's a point you don't get to take a break. Now, you know, just check yourself into a mental institution because we're gonna force you into a mental institution. But why? Why can't I just be healthy and live my life? Okay, well now it's too late. Now I'm 51 years old and the good years are all gone. I'm gonna be senior citizen material here and everything I tried to accomplish was stolen and robbed from me. But nobody will still come forward. Okay? My own mother, father do not think what they did was wrong. Um, and it's just with everyone worldwide trying to cover it up. And there is never one direct sentence about anything. So you, well, we developed a whole new schizophrenia language for you. Well, why would you develop a whole new schizophrenia language for me? Other than to try to make me look like a violent paranoid schizo. Because I, I don't want your stupid, your stupid paranoid schizo language, okay? I didn't sign up for it. 
I simply turned 29 and noticed what was going on going, you people are all fucking insane and psychotic and nuts. And nobody coming forwards. So nobody willing. Now they're going to play games. Like, you know, we're trying to throw you in jail to make you think you're in the movie The Mask and all sorts of weird shit. Like, make me try to brainwash me into thinking that what they're doing is for me. But it's clearly not, right? Okay, I mean, there are people like, whoa, that's the... Okay, and I play into it a little. But at the same time, because I got nothing else to do. Because they don't want to admit to the situation worldwide. And you can't force someone to admit something. But what what right does a planet of people have to throw rocks at my skull minute by minute, 100,000 to a million times per day, and say you're not allowed to say anything about it, just ignore it, right? Okay, so I'm going to take a break and I'll, I'll redo this. Oh, well, I'll add more when I get to Hollywood. And the older uh, Hollywood tactics were... Um, if I recall, I mean, there was a lot. Uh, when they see me, the cars start parking backwards in groups and things. The clothing colors were just crazy. I can recall black pants and yellow shirts or yellow shirts or yellow clothing, just huge. Uh, I think before that was sort of the red and black. Um, and it was interesting because, like usual, when I got to Hollywood and logged in, to the Google Cloud, if I go down Hollywood Boulevard, the first lap, and this is on video as well, and photos, if I go down Hollywood Boulevard, everything looks normal, and then maybe I come back, and I go do a couple laps, and you watch it exponentially grow within 30 minutes from a couple possible randoms, which might or might not be, to insane numbers of people all coming out of their houses or bars. Um, and you're sort of like, I, I, I'm freaked out. You're like, I don't want to say anything, right? Because it's freaking nuts. I don't want to say anything. Um, now, this is what's avoided. Because I can talk about Mr. Quigley in 10th grade English teacher telling me to Paul punch Paul Schaefer trying to set me up or frame me and make me look like a violent paranoid schizo. And Miss Tunic telling the class to write book reports on a clockwork orange and then you guess what they're doing. Look what Kevin wrote. And a hundred million other things with Brian Weaver and Paul Humphrey and Mike Huntley in 1980 earlier, 8th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade. Sunny Skies Day Camp, you name it with a uh, kissing the black girl. I can go through all that, and that's a lot more specific, but what we never talk about here are the worldwide daily attacks where they're trying to get the reactions. They want to cover it all up. Well, Kevin's angry. Kevin suffers from trauma, and he's angry about something from... No, I'm not angry. I'm trying to go out and live my life, but every day I'm attacked from stranger after stranger with these little passive-aggressive uh, idea of reference, copycat, mimic, terror tactics, okay? Um, if every time I go into a restaurant, the the random restaurant employee calls me boss, and I try to tell people, they go, oh, that's crazy. And how do you file police reports on that, by the way? And the police know it's going because they used to do it. Okay, the police used to be like, I don't remember the ones they were doing, it was, but but they were doing it back when I was trying to file police reports. So I'm, I'm taking part in the gang stalking, but you're imagining it. And my father says people are just teasing you. It's just a minute by minute, 100,000 to a million teases per day, planetary, until I keel over and die. That's not teasing of anonymous strangers, something's got to be about something, okay? There's got to be a verbal argument or they're trying to make you look like a violent paranoid schizo. My mother, my past caught up with me. I never said that. My father, you know what you did. Uh, then he back, Then he says, uh, I said, what did I do? I, well, people aren't told what they did because they could lie. Um, and... Um, 
and um, a lot of other things showing that they're involved, but then, then every time they, they can't get a coerced false confession, whoever it is, they, I don't know, you're imagining it. Oh wait, I mean, you're gonna take the time to accuse people of things, you gotta, you know, take the credit for your accusation, and if you destroy their life, or you have a plan of people trying to kill someone, and even to the point where they have to defend themselves, I mean, that's a problem for that, that person, right? Okay, so, um, so if my father says, you know what you did, and he, he's riled up a plan, fear-mongered, a planetary murder operation to kill his five-year-old with the rest of my family, okay, now I still do talk to a couple of people in my family, but it's very difficult because remember that most people I talk to are black and white thinking. They can't understand that life isn't on a gray... Okay, it's not, I love you, I hate you, it's, I'm trying to deal with you, but you're driving me fucking crazy, and, I mean, you gotta come fucking forward here, because my life's at stake, right, okay, and gang stalking is an extermination operation, and if you think that medication's gonna solve anything, that's crazy, right, okay, what, what in the, the DSM-5 book here, says anything about idea of reference, worldwide idea of reference, extermination operations. Okay. Um, let's think about that. What in the DSM-5 says, says anything about extermination operations? Medication for extermination. Well, it's not extermination because you saw the medication. But the things that are being done are mental illnesses. So it wasn't mental, it's not designed, there's no pills designed for people provoking you to death. Okay, there's no pill for that. It's just gonna turn you into a drooling zombie and they're still gonna provoke you and you're, gonna be, you're still gonna get angry, like stop, uh, while you're drooling, right? Okay, I'll, I'll fucking kill you, right? Okay, so, so, um, So, so that's the point. It's to weaken you and get you sicker and sicker, and then say you suffer from mental illness, and or whatever they want to, however they want to twist and contort it. But did they ever think about just let that person live their life? Now, most importantly, this started in my company at Signet E Services. So you have to understand, I went to college, and I came out of college where I can't. Uh, Hollywood, 3D animation, visual effects, trying to figure it all out. I started a company with Mike Huntley, my brother, originally my brother's friend, my brother's death threats. Um, we're gonna put, me and my friends are gonna put you in a mental institution, but I didn't know that the guy was like, great, like really, like, like he's not fucking, he's joking around or, okay, like really crazy, crazy, but where did he get the billions of dollars of resources? And when, the government is saying, or the police or psychology are saying that I created this because Kevin's speaking out. This starts way before I knew a thing, okay? So, what you need to ask yourself, how did this guy go 25 years till the age 29 not knowing a thing, like ignorance is bliss, so to speak, and going through college? I, there's no way I could have ever went through college, okay? It would have lasted a day. If I knew then, like I was watching the professors and the students and all, if I knew what was going on, right? I, I would, there's no way. So you turn 29 and you go from extremely healthy and working out all your life and going to gyms and, and weightlifting and like I'm posting pictures of me skydiving and hang gliding and building cars and yet I buy a Corvette. It's now hasn't driven in almost four years with all the auto shops hacking it up and doing whatever it takes with the worldwide groups to stop the car from running. Okay, think about that. They're completely different, they're like polar opposites. Okay. Okay, so, so anyways, once again my camera turned off. This is not the best camera. Okay, uh, it, it, after 30 minutes it stops recording on this camera. There is a little firmware hack for that. Okay, um, um, Oh, I said the evil hack word. Okay, so if I say the word hack, then worldwide groups try to kill me. That actually links to something that happened around 15 years ago at, at uh, 
coffee bean as well as their lies. I supposedly masturbated in the bathrooms just like Starbucks and a barrage of 100,000 other lies. Um, so the point I'm making here is you're trying to get things done, you're trying to get things accomplished, and every single human interaction or the majority thereof or a barrage of idea of reverence messages, provokings, um, based on spy game tactics example, Hint, hint, I know you went here last night. How does the guy in India know I went to this place last night and said this or that? And These are just a lot of things I don't really talk about much, but example, if I have a conversation with this guy over here, let's say in Burbank, city of Burbank, and I go home to Woodland Hills, instantly there'll be a triangle level of communication with some stranger that I said this or that, hinting about it or mimicking it. And that's actually how it started with the coffee shops in around 2005 or one or whatever, is I was, I'd say one thing to the employee, like friendly, let's say Woodland Hills, and I drive out to Oxnard and the employee in Oxnard mimics it. And you go, that, that's why, how, why do you do that? And then I go to Laguna Beach and his, what that guy said he mimics or he mimics something I said. And then I go to Arizona and then I go to Utah and then I go to Florida and then I go and pretty soon I'm now videoing it on a camera going, this is happening but it's not happening. And by the way, they were ramping up that tactic the last few months, okay, which is interesting. Um, to do what? Try to make you look like a violent paranoid schizo. Why? Well, we just got to control you by mentally bashing your fucking skull in with mental illness tactics, but you're also not allowed to sit at a park. Well, wouldn't sitting at a park meditating be like healthy for you? Or you're also not allowed to go to a gym either because you go four days a week and four days a week is OCD. Isn't gym healthy? Don't you want me to have good cardiovascular and strong muscle structure and ligaments and tendons? You, you don't, clearly. Why? You know what you did. What'd I do? I didn't say that. Is it this? Is it that? Is it? It's just to drive you crazy. Just to race your mind like Skyler that was sent after me from Florida working with my brother, my brother on internet related chat in the let's say 97, befriending me in the Colorado channel. Uh, she likes to skull fuck people. It's a way of government skull fucking to kill people. Get You get it? Um, with government flag and kill operations. Now, how do they get the planet helping? It, it has not been answered. I'm, I'm guessing they just unload with a barrage of bullshit. Like, like they have the, they have a propaganda channel for the public which is like a soap opera, and now he did this, and now he did that, and he needs to be stopped, and this and that. He took too many walks, he needs to be stopped. He uh, put sugar in his Cheerios, he needs to be stopped. Uh, he exceeded the five minute rule of sitting on a, par a bench on a park, so all these people have to come out. Then the death threats, no relaxing for you, nigger. Uh, then people try to walk in front of your camera while you're taking pictures of rocks or whatever, or trees, learning your camera, or squirrels, learning your camera. He took my picture. That's a crime to take a person's picture. No, it isn't. He took a picture. It's crime. We have worldwide campaigns to kill him for what he did. What is fucking going on? There's no answer. You're imagining it. Nothing's going on. You're too sensitive. Whistle, whistle, whistle. Man, man, man. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, what? And then people start copying you and then saying you did this and then they try to make they frame you and say other people do things and they say it was you then you have sort of the look-alike crazies and the the, um, the mimic crazies the look-alike crazies the I'm you crazies I'm showing you how, who you are crazies these are all tactics created by the psychology community and police to make someone look like a violent paranoid schizo and eradicate them and how do you write a police report about that well, you can do it, but the police officer has to acknowledge that it's going on just like everyone else. And they refuse. They refuse. At all costs. Um, and, um, and you see how, did you see my hand just go up like that? 
did my hand go up like that because I'm not trying to live my life? Or did my hand go out like that because what they're doing? Now, by the way, the whistling tactic, I couldn't remember. But if I was at a coffee shop and my hand went like this, from stranger to stranger. Okay, you're sitting there minding your own business. You're just getting your death threats from Mike Huntley. You're a dead man. World of paranoia. We're gonna force you in a mental institution. You're sitting in a coffee shop. I can remember vividly uh, with the, Dr. Alex Lazar mad at me for getting into studio photography and realizing that Mike Huntley was telling me I'm filled with anger and rage. And I'm like, why? Because I, I hugged too many girls? Uh, I don't know, because because I'm shy and quiet and hug too many girls and am as nice as can be. Uh, is that why I'm filled with anger and rage? And then um, trying to make up lies that I'm into photography to meet women. And literally, you're going, why is this this shrink running around trying to destroy my life. That's not his job description. And this will happen with every one of them. And then I'm going to the Encino, the Havenhurst Starbucks, and I'm cruising around surfing the web or maybe programming, and maybe I go like this, or maybe I simply take a break from staring at a monitor and look up. Next person. I'm watching you, I'm staring at you. You better keep fucking staring at your monitor. What's going on? Who are these people? Why do I have 100 people per hour or day at every coffee shop in the world whistling at me if I don't stop staring at a LED screen? Are they trying to burn my eyes out? Okay, right? All right, so, or just drive you crazy and try to get you swinging. Well, all the above. It's a way to make you look like you're crazy and a violent paranoid gets so too sensitive. But to this day, there's nothing, the only thing I would or could be possible of doing was if you provoke me to death reacting, okay? That's it. Um, and that's would be in self-defense because there's no way to get away from it. How do you get away from it? Okay, this guy just befriended me and a thousand and a hundred thousand people are working with him. I don't want to talk to him. Next person takes over. Next person takes over. Next person takes over. Next person takes over. What's going on? Nothing you're imagining. It's worldwide. There's not one human interaction I have had, or rarely, since five years old, that that wasn't the case. Mass worldwide groups working with an individual trying to weasel in my life. Okay, so when I get to Hollywood, which I said I was going to turn this off, I'll continue. Okay, so just a quick... Uh, Burger up here. I'm going to Fat Burger and um, and um, so that was interesting. So the Steve Docker guy, he, he was just really pissed, and his ex bail bondsman people, friends, look pissed at me like they always are. But I finally said, you know, is you guys upset or something? You know, what's like with me, or is it no one so you were upset with him, but they always sort of lash out at me. So, you know, I don't know what, are they saying I'm him, or I don't fucking know. So, you know, I sort of looked at a few cars and bolted, and um, I can't fucking tell you. Okay, so, so it's just nothing. So you just look at the look in everyone's eyes, and um, that's all you really need to see. It's just the whole thing's fucking disturbing. Okay, there were the the uh, the provokings were less. Now maybe if I was there longer. Okay, so um, I'm just I don't want to feel like dealing with deal this shit tonight. Okay, so there's a fat burger here. And um, we're gonna eat some food and then maybe go down to Hollywood here and just be to ourselves, but drive. Okay. Okay. So I'm leaving, getting food, and ironically, the. Okay, the. Oh. What do you call it? 
the girl at the counter kept saying welcome, so the welcome tactic uh, at Fat Burger. And the guy cooking the hamburgers was whistling. Okay. And one guy walked up and what do you say? He called me buddy with the buddy tactic. Okay. So I believe I explained all three of these tactics driving earlier tonight coming out this way um, towards Hollywood. Um, and ironically, right now, this parking lot is all forwards, like, before 2011. Now, I'm not saying that every single parking lot needs to be all forwards, but let's be realistic. That before 2011, me parking once backwards at the Ventura Boulevard and Havenhurst Starbucks, uh, the copycats tactic instantly starts worldwide. And if you see Kevin park backwards and it progressive progressively starts that I'm sitting out trying to get some fresh air and people see me sitting there and they park their cars backwards to try to instigate or provoke me okay or harass okay over and over and over and over minute by minute by minute by minute officer Toro you're not allowed to get proof of that but yet officer Toro is also working with Aubrey Fisher you're not allowed to get in the studio photography which is a little bit more realistic here if you want to go to the foundation of what's really going on who would be mad at their child for taking pictures of pretty girls Ooh. I don't know how do I do this I gotta pull off there we go pull the strap here okay who would be mad? Let me just double check there, yeah. Okay. Who would be mad at their child for. Jeez. Uh, I'm rusty here. Okay, let's zoom the lens. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so who would be mad at their child for getting into studio photography? Ta- who would be mad? Who has the most. Who would have? Who would care the most that, that someone would get into studio photography with pretty girls on green str- on green screens? Me doing CG computer generated backdrops and very Hollywoodish artistic portraits It'd take a lot of time to do one. So you know, one could take a hundred hours to a thousand hours, depending on the intricacies. Would it be this guy over here? No, he wouldn't care, would he? He wouldn't care. Uh, who would care? Well, maybe the guy that that is his father that's an orthopedic surgeon and wants to look like a good orthopedic surgeon, right? Okay, and it's contr- controlling and psychotic. Okay, so let's be realistic that if Officer Toro, if people are showing up mad at some guy for having a camera, and I probably didn't even have the camera until the people started showing up whistling at me, and provoking me over and over and over and over. And I remember I didn't have the camera at first going to coffee shops. What happened was I brought the camera with the instruction manual. I started buying like a new camera and brought the instruction manual and the provokings. And then what happens is it sort of curves, curveballs you from focusing on learning your camera and going out and doing photography to why won't these people leave me alone and I'm like, I gotta get proof of it, right? Okay, why would Officer Toro care? You think Officer Toro really believes the bullshit he's hinting about? No, he's working with Aubrey Fisher and my father. I don't want you getting into studio photography because I want to keep my sleazy reputation as an orthopedic surgeon and I don't want to be kicked off the AMA, but why would the AMA give a shit? Okay, I'm older than 18. I'm older than 18. I'm getting into studio photography uh, with pretty girls and CG backdrops and a fantasy scenes or whatever. Why would the Why would the AMA care? They wouldn't. Okay, I'm not Ron Perlman. Okay, right. But my father, in his deluded thought process, goes out and commits his crime spree because he doesn't want to look like a bad doctor. Well, I mean, that's kind of ironic, isn't it? It's like. Okay, so anyways, I don't know how he jumped on that. Oh, the car's backwards. Okay, so that's when the car's 
backwards ramp up. So I go, I'm sitting there minding my own business, people with clothing, people walking up whistling. So it, it escalates from your hand touch, came close to your eyebrow or something or your forehead and whistling at me to people walking by and whistling at me, which I actually was in 99 or 2000, I can't remember, when I first started noticing it was people walking by and whistling like upwards of 10 to 40 or even higher per day. It could have been more like 100. Um, ran it wherever I was. And so yeah, so that's how I sort of jumped from the whistling tactic to the cars backwards tactic. And the cars backwards tactic, uh, example last night we had in the Gateway Plaza, which is on video, around 1 a.m., we had in every corner was were gray cars backwards, and after I drove by, they all left. Okay, so there were about three or four, and I think two of them were waiting with lights on backwards and all gray. Okay, so that's on last night's video, and obviously, as you can see, there's just too much video. They have to edit. And I had so much video over the last 15 years that it would take like a news station and the entire news station years. It would take them like 100 years to edit all my video. Okay, so what's the point I'm making here? Is that I'm not out living a normal life because someone is mad at their five-year-old. And they're destroying my life because I guess... I. On the surface, I'm not complying with the death threats, I guess, right? So... And then they're trying to make me think that it's my fault. Like, hint, hint, you did this. But when you hint with spy game fragmented hints, they don't mean anything, but you're hinting about some aspect of my life, but I don't know what you want me to know because most people have communication skills. So example, you might hint about Jen Hess and if we actually had a dialogue about Jen Hess from let's say the stranger over here at the Hollywood Bowl, why would the stranger at the Hollywood Bowl know about Jen Hess or me? That's the only real question. And if there was an actual dialogue about my relationship with Jen Hess, which should have been private, right? That's the crime. There would have been nothing to it. It would have been like the girl was either crazy or pretending to be crazy and then she was running around supposedly had my baby and I asked her about it. You know, what the fuck's going on? And it's like, well, you know, how dare you go down to her house and ask her about what's going on? Okay, I'm allowed to stick my dick in her, but I can't ask her, like, what's going on with this fucking crazy weird shit, okay? And all of her freaky mind games and this and that, trying to lure me into shit and this and that, and me not really fully knowing, but knowing something's very wrong, and then having an opinion about it, and my kind is not allowed to have opinions, or where white groups hunt us to kill us. Okay, so once again that everyone is dramatizing off you chewed with your mouth open at the dinner table and my life's in danger because you chewed with your mouth open on the dinner table and it instantly goes worldwide. Everyone kill Kevin since five years old. Okay, it's not making any sense, is it? It makes zero sense to me. And the only thing has to be the, something with a bigger picture. If this guy over here on Franklin Ave says I need to die because um, he says he doesn't like my artwork in Professor Jim Johnson's class of Mike Tyson composited with the game character Katana or was it Chung Lee or whatever and so therefore I need to die with a planet of people, and I'm also a schizophrenic who thinks he's black and a woman beater. Um, once again, the issue isn't some moron's thoughts about a private piece of artwork for a University of Colorado computer imaging class. The argument is, why does he know of my artwork, and why is he hunting me with a planet of people to mentally bludgeon my skull in? 
for a piece of artwork that in itself is a harmless piece of artwork. Okay, so for example, uh, that that kid in my, I don't know what grade he was in at University of Colorado that made a art piece, Daddy's Little Hooker, after the John Benet Ramsey killings, um, he probably has, oh, I fucked up, whatever, you know, I did a stupid piece of artwork and it's over. Um, that controversy that we had in Colorado in 90, I don't know what that was, 96 or something. There is a billion times more controversy in my artwork. It is harmless. There is zero anything to it. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? There's there's nothing there's nothing anyone could care about. It doesn't make sense. So it's being dramatized with intent to justify mentally battering and bashing someone's skull in mentally with an entire planet minute by minute saying, you know, you what know what you did. You made a piece of artwork with Mike Tyson, composited with a game character, Chun Li. Hint, 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 hint. It's not directly said. Hint, hint. Nothing. It's all vague. Hint, hint. You know what you did? What did I do? Well, people lie, so they don't. They're not told what they did. Your past caught up with you. What past? I didn't say that. Okay. Hint, hint. I'm trying to obsessionally loop you and drive you crazy because if there's a planet of people minute by minute trying to mentally bludgeon you your skull in for no reason you're gonna wonder why the fuck it's going on right oh well don't don't think why it's going on just accept it oh okay so I should accept being met being mentally bludgeoned to death and killed right okay so the things I'm being told don't make any sense except for psychotic murderers saying except your fate and that's me executing you or trying to force you into mental institutions and that is one single scenario I could go to to about a thousand including uh, my English and auto shop teacher Mr. Baylor his orange 68 Camaro convertible and him saying class um, Okay, we're going to torque the head bolt on the engine. It's 120 foot-pounds of torque or something like that. And me going, Mr. Baylor, it's not 120 foot-pounds, it's 70 foot-pounds, something like that. And him going, no, it's 120, and he snaps the head bolt in the block. And then Mr. Baylor and the entire planet Earth are mad at me for what I did to Mr. Baylor. Okay, well, what did I do? Should I just not have said anything and let him snap the head bolt? I mean... So by me saying, like, like you know, you, you crossed the line there, boy, you gave me the right information, and you would have saved me looking stupid, uh, how dare you, we need to kill you, and you're going to say, why is there a planetary murder operation to kill me over that? Did I, did I completely miss something here? Um, okay, not one of these people here are questioning okay not one of these people are questioning like why they're doing it okay it doesn't make sense well why are they mad they're mad because I tightened I told the teacher the correct torque spec to stop him from breaking the ball so I so there's a worldwide campaign to kill me okay does that make sense Okay, on all levels. Why does this not, why does this involve the planet Earth? What does the planet Earth, well, you're, you're the bad seed. You gave him the correct information. Well, I don't get it. Why, what's the problem? Why is the guy mad? And then he's working with Tom Farley and Craig Diamond in like setup and frame job operations as well. And so now you're talking about teachers working with students to, to, exterminate a whatever that is ninth or tenth grade okay so so why would Tom Farley who's always sort of linked to all these events uh, Tom Farley linked to all these events by the way now that I'm in Hollywood people will see my truck and they'll 
instantly start ramping up the attacks. I explained how normally they went through the Google Cloud and follow, but they still visually see me. And the attacks still ramp up just at a slower example. Uh, people start parking cars backwards in cryptic patterns. So, because Kevin's in town, and yet they still have the tools to notify, to, to, um, to uh, message extremely large citywide or even planetary groups that Kevin's in town. Um, so now do these thousands of things out of thousands of tactics, just like Fat Burger 20 minutes ago with the whistling, the buddy, and the welcome. Okay, and welcome starts from uh, Starbucks. Um, you you were kind enough to walk in, give us your money, and sit down at one time 15 years ago. So we're going to hunt you and kill you with every resource on the planet. Uh, I'm a little confused on that, but I, I explained how it links to Paul Humphrey um, and much larger and NSA and FBI and worldwide groups, which doesn't make any sense, okay? Guy walks into a fucking coffee shop, he sits down, blah, 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 nobody cares, okay? There shouldn't be the little counter provokings to try to rile me up. There shouldn't be people walking in provoking me. There shouldn't be people par pulling up with using cars as mental illness tactics. Example, parking in backwards at twos, arriving in 15 pink Honda Civics or whatever, okay? Or gray Honda Civics. Um, there shouldn't be any of that. But it, it's, I noticed that at around 2000, uh, maybe 2001, whatever, when I was around 29, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was just like, it, like, just, I was just like, what the hell am I seeing? Okay, right? And you have to admit that it's completely unheard of on all levels. Um, and um, okay, so um, now this this applies to everything. I can go through thousands of scenarios. Just, just I'm talking about the the photo. I'm talking about the the head bolt in Mr. Baylor's Auto Shop class. I can go through all my classes and all the way down to fifth, eighth grade or lower than eighth grade. Uh, five years old. Um, even Sunny Skies Day Camp, where I'm not sure it was T1 or Sunny Skies Day Camp, whatever, off Triumpho Canyon in Mulholland. Um, uh, let me think. Okay, so I kissed the black girl. I'm a white supremacist. This is a worldwide campaign to kill me. It gets a lot deeper. Things like uh, teacher cracking an egg open in a unfertilized sort of embryo-ish chicken comes whatever on their farm but whatever those are they're sort of irrelevant but they're relevant because the data is being used to say Kevin's crazy and suffers from trauma and we're trying to find out what's wrong with him so he has to give the world a coerced with the psychology community a coerced false confession and it always comes back why do I have to give why is my skull going to be bludgeoned in minute by minute by the entire planet Earth until I confess to give course false confessions? Because they want to cover up the murder operations and say, see, I told you so based on their lies. I, I don't know. It, it doesn't make any sense. So we're coming back to what's really going on, and that's government flag and kill operations, okay? So... So... Um, five years old just we need to execute this child and we got to do it in a way where there's no investigation and there's no loose ends okay a method of assassination by the United States government of America to execute children and or anyone for that matter because gang stalking or gaslighting is a method to rid someone of the world without touching them and make it look like they just flipped out and went crazy okay and that's the point that when people are running around trying to make me look crazy then they don't want me saying anything because that sounds crazy correct it sounds crazy 
It sounds crazy that a large group would make someone look crazy, doesn't it? Because that rarely happens. And it's even crazier for me to turn 29 and find out that all of Hollywood is involved. What was that black actor from um, The Green Mile? Uh, he saw me go into Canoga Camera, whistling at me. Uh, what was his name? Uh, I don't know his name. Okay, so... Wait, people in Hollywood, and that all links to Brian Longbotham hiring me uh, frame jobs with Wes Craven, um, and that will link back to the Jason Perlman show Kevin Horror Movies, and try to make Kevin look like he, he conforms to horror movies, showing me tons of horror movies with his friends, Mike Huntley showing me many movies, uh, what was it, Don't Say a Word, and... Uh, um, Fight Club, and I explained earlier the connection between Fight Club, uh, the connection between, let's watch Fight Club, and now every time I go out of my house, people provoke me at a larger scale, trying to make it look like I conform to media, yet at the same time, I've never provoked anyone. I've been as nice as can be. Okay, so anyways, you get the idea, because I can go through 100,000 of these things, so I'm here in Hollywood. And I think I'm just gonna chill out and save some energy. Let people see my signs on my car. That makes a lot of people, oh, and the totally destroyed car as well with the four BB holes and all the neighbors uh, carving it up. And this, by the way, the, the car vandalisms have been pretty much on and off but nonstop for 20 years on all my cars. And the Corvette um, easily fifty thousand dollars of money stolen through lies and a mass auto conspiracy um all in the name that i don't know what, I, at first it's sort of kevin's crazy he shouldn't buy a car especially a sports car um but not only that i think Brittany henderson um if I recall, Brittany Henderson sort of fled at the point that she found out, I think I already said this, the point she found out I bought a Corvette in Pennsylvania and was going to drive it across the U.S. was her last interaction and I think we were also getting down into the, the high school and towards the middle school years which are really sort of, why are you doing this to your child? And, um, who, who could do such a thing to a child? And, um, where am I? And she had a really nervous look because she was spewing out that I suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome. Well, if you know, if someone suffers from post-traumatic stress syndrome, they're not gonna be able to just hop up and buy a Corvette in Pennsylvania and drive it all the way across the US and I drove 4,000 miles met with a planet anger and rage planet that my kind needs to die since five years old once again I don't know if I have enough light here once again um, the my kind you get it well what, what are we really talking about here what are the more important issues uh, that are realistic um, a psychological label that people should be killed over, correct? Okay, and you're gonna say, well, that doesn't sound really, that sounds kind of strange. Okay, yet I've been the most docile, friendly, kind, giving, generous person my whole life, even to 51, and it doesn't matter what you say to anyone, I, my kind needs to die since five years old, and um, by an entire planet, minute by minute, 100,000 to a million attacks per day, or around about 1,000 an hour in my circumference, give or take, escalating from 100 to 1,000, and sometimes less, whatever. But nobody's mad at them. They should be mad at themselves, not me, okay? Example, Eric Christensen, 1991. Kevin, you're making me hunt you to kill you because I don't like your t-shirt. Uh, Lord's Gym, whatever. You went out down to the Chokey comic store, the shirt store. You bought a shirt. I'm going to get together with Sherry Christensen. We're going to radio the world. I'm going to get together with San Diego PD with a girl named Kat and Jennifer. All sorts of weird schizo things. 
then it's about mental illness. Well, you're trying to make someone's you're trying to make someone a schizophrenic to say they suffer from mental illness. That's gang stalking. That's gaslighting. Okay, if 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 you're gonna whatever, I'll use poker. If you're gonna play poker and you have to stack the deck, then you already lost because. Or, or the, the better player is the one that knows how to play poker, not the one that knows how to cheat, but that's not really a good analogy because this isn't a game. Um, if someone suffers from mental illness, you don't have to make them mentally ill. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, you suffer from mental illness, so I'm going to make you mentally ill too? I mean, I don't fucking know, right? Okay, so, so if you do the math on every scenario, it comes down to government assassination to execute a five-year-old with my father, okay? And that's the only thing it can be about, because nothing else makes sense. Okay? Uh, what medication are you going to take for a planet trying to mentally bludgeon your skull in with a subset of psychological warfare tactics? Okay? Uh, psych psychological medication isn't designed for that purpose. Okay? Uh, it's like giving... That guy there, he's allowed to uh, bash your skull in with a crowbar with Jason and friends, and instead of stopping them from swinging the crowbar, just take your Seroquel. Well, you think the Seroquel is going to stop the, the, the brain swelling and the, the blood and guts from flying out of it? No, it's not, is it? Okay, so, well, Kevin, nobody's touching you. Well, no, but the method of... I'm watching people provoke me. What, what's the minute by minute? 100,000 to a million per day. What is... The, the medication's not designed to work that way. Okay, you already know what's going on. Okay. So, um... Uh, what? Dr. Natalie Craw death threat. Whatever. You better take medication or it's going to get a lot worse. Or you're going to destroy your life. Okay, that was, a, that was a blackmail and death threat. That had nothing to do with giving a shit. With, with um concern the word concern I'm concerned that you might not be healthy so you do what I say or I'm gonna kill you okay that's not concern that's that's a psychotic murderer saying you do what I say or, or you kill you what I you do what I say or they'll kill you and they're not doing it for you they're doing it for themselves correct they're doing it because they want something and they're going to tell you what to do and they get their fulfillment by you doing what they tell you, correct? Kind of like whipping a slave. Okay. So that's interesting because some of these death threats are no relaxing for you, nigger. And, um, really mad that I bought a Whipple supercharger for my Corvette and my, my words would be, what the fuck does a Whipple supercharged Corvette have to do with the tea in China, right? Okay, so, and that sort of is the most important question. What does a Whipple Corvette, what does a Whipple Supercharger have to do with the tea in China when it comes to slavery or black people? Nothing. Okay, so maybe they're the schizos. Um, or maybe they're doing it to rid someone of the world, right? Okay, well, obviously the latter. Okay, so I'm going to chill out. I'm sick of talking in this camera. I'm sick of being pushed. Let me just... Uh, yeah, hold on. Okay, so I'm sick of being pushed into talking into a camera. And I'm sick of being told that I'm crazy and a horrible monster for being a really good person trying to solve the problem with communication skills that nobody else seems to have and trying to figure out how to passively stop a worldwide murder operation to kill me which they say is wrong just ignore the mental bludgeonings till I'm dead gone in a mental institution or jail cell and that does not seem strange to the entire planet earth they just don't get that that's an unacceptable behavior all because a five-year-old did what? Well, we don't have an answer, but I'm the one that's supposed to tell. I'm the one that's told I have to tell the world what I did at five years old as if I know what's going on in my psychotic murdering father's skull, right? Okay, I mean, for all I know, 
it was because I hugged a tree. I don't know. Or maybe it was because I drew that tree for my mother who was using her art therapy degree uh, at Cedar sinai to analyze her child. And I'm joking around, showing I have a sense of humor. Um, I, don't, I don't exactly remember. I think I put like a, a hole in the tree with a sort of skull or maybe a witch. I don't remember. And just jokingly joking around. And most normal sane parents would be like, ah, oh, my, my son has a sense of humor or whatever. And not this anal retentive, the tree has to fucking be perfect. And, and if you want to understand what my life has always been, there's no jokes on any level. There's no sarcasm on any level. There's no smiling because a, a smile is an evil smile. And, uh, or it could be. And if you look at a girl, it's a death stare. And there is, if you are not, you have to be a robot. Okay, you have to be like, what can I do for you today? Okay, I mean, that's, that's, or you're, or he needs to die. It doesn't make any sense. And all the people in authority, like a lot of the people, I don't want to say everyone, okay? I'm not, I'm not generalizing here. But a lot of people in LAPD, and maybe they're starting to realize now how things start. And I can't tell you, it doesn't make any sense to me. But a lot of LAPD are involved, a lot of, not just LAPD, is worldwide. So, oh, all security companies, okay, security companies. Uh, if you see Kevin Perlman, he's crazy. The flagging of people with police and security companies and government of people they feel that don't fit in society so therefore they could be the next Unabomber and we're gonna take you from here and we're gonna put you in a cage they didn't do anything they're just flagged okay they're they're a possible a possible suspect a suspect like a, a pre-crime almost like no I mean maybe, like I used to have that shirt pre-crime felon right okay pre-crime felon is a joke uh, um, I, I'm a felon because someone thinks I might do this or that, pre-crime felon. Um, and you, you normally, you laugh, ha, huh? that's funny, right? Well, a pre-crime felon, we, we think you might be a felon, so we're gonna arrest you and lock you away. But I didn't do anything. Okay, right? Now they might play the self-fulfilling prophecy card. Well, Kevin, you bought the fur, the shirt, pre-crime felon, so now we have to destroy your life and kill you. Or, okay, but it all starts from somewhere else, right? It all starts at five years old of changing tactics that don't make any sense, right? Um, okay, and yet they've destroyed 51 years of my life and launched a worldwide campaign to kill me. Nobody thinks it's wrong. They, they play it off like a game and a joke, like, oh, we're just sending you to elsewhere. We're not doing anything to hurt you or wrong or like my father said people are just teasing you and I'm like I don't get the fucking tease here you have a hundred thousand to a million attacks per day until I keel over and die or am locked into jail or mental institutions what did I miss well you're mad at me for buying a, a pre-crime felon sure that's why you're hunting me to execute me okay nothing makes any sense because if that guy over there buys the same shirt or Lord's Gym or whatever nobody fucking cares so what's it about? We're trying to brainwash you into thinking that it's my fault. Accept us hunting to kill you because hint, hint, it's your fault. You bought a t-shirt. It is scary, not scary. I mean, right? Even if it was scary, it wouldn't change the equation. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. Remember that uh, you can go to my website, www.kevinperlman.com target.com as I'm driving through like a street party here um, okay so Kevin Perlman target.com p-e-r-e-l-m-a-n if you're mad at me for putting up a website, making up lies, that it's about making money, which is completely impossible. Me getting attention, well, it's not really the type of attention I really want, but I do want acknowledgement that I'm known worldwide, 
and this was done to my life and these are damages these are damages to my life because I would be out making money having relationships friends family and, and remember I've never had a real friend they were all fake two-faced jailer murdering jailer friends I don't know how to define that um, and that's what you call damages now it is more realistic that a lot of these people are angry with the power because they don't want to be known that they destroyed my life okay they don't want to be held accountable for such a, a horrific unspeakable thing launching worldwide executions to eradicate five-year-olds uh, with some theory some theory that that five-year-old is a monster in the bad seed and he might and supposedly filled with anger and rage and he might be the next Unabomber okay and that's a, that's a lot of that shit was actually coming from not only Mike Huntley but Victoria Walker and criminal defense attorney Michael Bialis as well okay that was sent after me by Brian Longbotham working with large corporations in Hollywood and Universal Studios to execute me and try to make me look crazy okay now you're gonna say why Kevin why I can't tell you. All I can tell you is why would you ask me why I turned 20 around the age 29, I know it's a worldwide execution, to eradicate me and trace it down to five years old. How can I know? Especially at five years old. Now, if you want to get me sitting at a table with my father and someone in the government who made these decisions and ordered, it, ordered these murder operations we can get some kind of inkling of an answer, but that's not gonna happen, correct? Okay? But, more importantly than the why, is why is the world helping when they know better, okay? I mean, all of you should be ashamed of yourselves. You're like following me around, like I can't kill you. How dare you, you ruin my life. And I'm like, I don't understand the, the thought process here because I can see like one crazy sicko, but why is it that I've been hunted from stranger after stranger? Example, Eric Christensen, like I said earlier, you bought a t-shirt, you ruined my life. You bought a t-shirt I don't like. You ruined my life. I'm gonna hunt you and kill you with everyone on the planet. You bought a, you got in a studio, you got into photography. I don't want your kind getting into photography. You ruined my life, I'm gonna hunt you and kill you. Okay, nothing makes any sense. There are all sort of ways to try to like brainwash you or, or abuse your thought process or make you, make, make it look like you think differently, which was one of the quote unquote for my psychotic father. You think differently than everyone else. I mean, I think differently than psychotic murderers, yeah. Um, whether that person be where, whether that person has an LAPD badge or that person is works in a church or or is Jewish or Christian or black or Asian or or builds cars for a living or is a mechanic or is a lawyer or is a account okay whatever I'm a good decent rational if anyone has the correct thought process and by the way a psychotic might say you think differently but he doesn't know the fucking difference because. He's a psychotic. Okay. Um, well, my brother's making little videos called Psychos, right? Okay, so, and sort of putting me in it and trying to make me look crazy. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, while well, he had Dar Moselle holding the knife to my throat. Let's make him the fifth member of the Bee Gees. Um, now, I, it didn't really disturb me because I knew we were making a video. But years later, I'm finding out all these sort of associated things that weren't videos that he was told to do to try to flip me out and make me look crazy okay gang stalking gaslighting okay so why in the fucking hell with a planet of people trying to execute me would anyone be mad at me not themselves because you know what if the fucking government comes up to me and says you know what we want you to help us kill that person over there the first thing I'll do is fucking speak out about the government telling me to kill someone okay 
that's sort of the point. Okay, the government is telling me, or yeah, the government is approaching me, theoretically, saying you need to help us make that person mentally ill and eradicate him or kill him. You're going to say you are one fucking sick person. I'm going to call the fucking news and leave that fucking person alone. And that is the appropriate behavior, not... You're making all, Kevin, you're making all of us hunt you to kill you for no reason, and you need to tell us why. Well, I can't tell you why, because I don't understand the situation. There has been not one real, on the level, verbal dialogue with direct sentences, other than the schizophrenia idea of reference language they've, cre they've created, trying to flip my mind process to make me look crazy, okay? making up bullshit and lies that I'm too sensitive and there's no actual reasoning or logic and it starts when I was five years old. Okay, so that's it. I'm tired of babbling in a camera, but this is the information the world needs to have as more and more people try to ratchet down and exterminate me, ex eradicate me, exterminate me, lock me in jail, lock me in mental institutions. Jason Perlman, death threats at 16. Me and my friends are going to put you in a mental institution actually it was a little more vague it was me and my friends made a teacher mentally ill and we have a bug in your room and we're listening to everything you do on the radio um and um maybe i'll start oh uh, and we can talk to court reporter Debbie Woolman at Van Nuys Courthouse who owns the adjoining property to my wall who has never lived in it in 28 years or 25 years that I've been there. Probably with audio surveillance and all sorts of freaky things in there. And um, so you might want to ask LAPD about those illegal operations from some guy who's been the nicest person known to man. And that was instantly when I moved in. It was all sort of just like Mike Huntley taking me to the gym because he wanted me to meet the gym manager, Rody Morales, to try to plant a trash bag of LAPD marijuana in my house to set me up, try to make it look like I'm a drug dealer. Okay, you ask them why they're doing these illegal things, and then you can tell me, and I'll say, well, they're all fucked in the head because you're out fucking killing people with your little pre-crime bullshit, which violates the Constitution of the United States, and nobody is safe. And if someone like me, if this is happening to someone like me, then all of you are, you're, are fucked, okay, in the future or whatever. Now, most people are too ignorant to uh, ignorant and arrogant to understand that that's funny uh, and I'm sure all of you know why that's funny because the one of the girls sent after me Julia Sophia Reynoso okay so trying to cover up her shit uh, trying to make me look crazy and lure me down to the rainbow and sunset to make me look like a stalker or whatever okay um, and then flip it saying why do you have so much fear and and whatever okay so um just like Jen Hess and a hundred thousand other females. Okay, um, and when I watch them walk down the street and look at my car and run their hand through their hair like that, especially at the Starbucks locations, especially at the ones in um, uh, where was that? In um, a really aggressive in every place, but in the Starbucks. Havenhurst and Ventura years ago and uh, working with Dr. Alex Lazar who was trying to sabotage me from going out building a life for myself or a future for myself. Okay, so um, I will end it there or I'll just keep going through the 100,000 of nightmarish thoughts that are in my brain um, that really are reinforced. They are reinforced by a planet saying, we're going to kill you and you don't talk or we kill you. Okay? And that is the most important thing here, the, what's really going on since I was five years old.